Did Chicago Photoshop their lead singer off their new live album set? I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. The internet was buzzing a little bit this morning, Facebook especially, uh, over Jeff Coffey, their former lead singer, not being on an album cover for an upcoming live set called Greatest Hits Live. They're also releasing the Isle of Wight concert, by the way, later on this month. Details in the description of this video. But it's the former that we're talking about, where Jeff Coffey was on this set. There's 13 songs on this album. Jeff Coffey was on this album, and he doesn't seem to be on the album cover. He's um, mysteriously missing from the stage because this is a stage picture. A few people contacted me this morning saying that uh, they have proof that he was actually photoshopped out. I don't know if that's true. No one sent me anything. But my take on this is, was it necessary? Was it necessary for Jeff Coffey not to be on the album cover? That doesn't make any sense to me. He's on the album and... <sighs> You know, I had a mentor in the 80s who got me through my divorce and he, he used to say things to me like, stop making easy things hard. Stop putting drama where there doesn't need to be drama. This didn't need to happen. And did Chicago think that fans wouldn't notice that Jeff Coffey, who's on the album and sings most of the songs, is not on the album cover? It might sound like a little thing, but when you, when you connect it to a lot of the drama that's in this band, it makes you kind of wonder. By the way, that's my son's band. My son's 14 years old. Yes, they're doing the Red Hot Chili Peppers as I'm talking about Chicago. But anyway, when I make a mistake on YouTube, you, the viewer, are always very quick to let me know I've made a mistake. Rightly so. You're going to do this stuff. you got to get your facts right. I don't rely on memory to do my videos because I'm 58 years old. I can't remember things like I used to. I research everything. I'm a research pig. If you're going to play in this arena, you got to know your stuff. So when I make a mistake, you let me know. Sometimes I have to edit things out because I'm going, that whole paragraph's crap. So my thing is, did Chicago not, not realize that the fans would, would see this and not say anything? So there's a petition online right now. I'll have links to it. If you want to sign it, go ahead. That are, they're asking Chicago to, to basically have a picture on the album cover with Jeff Coffey on it because he's he's part of the band. I, I reached out to Jeff's camp. We're, we're, we've interviewed him before. I'm friends with Jeff. And um, they didn't have a comment on this. Jeff usually takes the high road for a lot of this kind of stuff. He's not a big drama guy. He's playing with Don Felder right now. He's doing really well. Working on some new music as well. Didn't say anything bad or good. Just didn't, you know, didn't have any comment on that. So I understand that. But the fans are certainly talking. It just wasn't, it wasn't necessary. So I'm not sure why that happened. The quote from the petition will be in the description of this video. What do you think? Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. This is John Bowden from Rock History Music.